start to get into balance but I find that with my patients once they start to get really well recovered the balance part hasn't really set in and because of insurance or other various reasons they're kind of out the door so one thing that I want to make sure that you're doing at home when you have an ankle injury is make sure you really focus on that balance because that's the number one reason that I find that people re-injure their ankle and come back with that injury uh, time and time again so a simple progression here on how to improve your balance and uh, once you get to the higher levels, it'll certainly make sure that you're at the best capable position and strength to make sure that you don't re-injure your ankle, okay? So let's say I have a left ankle injury, which is true for me. I've in injured my ankle numerous times throughout sports and high school and all that stuff. So first thing you wanna do is get the injured side on the ground and get your uninjured side up on a step, okay? So that will force you to put more weight into that side, okay? And then from there, just make sure your other leg if that gets easy flat-footed, come up on your toes, okay? And then we're coming up on our toes here, flat-footed again. And you can see the second I come up on my toes, because I've had an injury, this is challenging for me. So I need to heed my own words of wisdom and really start to focus on stabilizing this ankle, okay? Once that gets easy, you take a step away and you just stand on that ankle, okay? And then from there, you can come up on your toes Put your other foot down, just toes, just to help balance. Okay, so you're balancing here on your toes. And again, that's difficult for me. So I need to practice there. So once you can come up on your toes and balance there, then you make the stable more un make the surface rather more unstable. So I have a little balance pad here. At home you can use a pillow or something like that. You can just stand on that surface with your other leg in the air. And then eventually you can come up onto your toes, try to stabilize a little bit more through there. Now as that gets easy, what you want to do is start to do things in that position. So in the case of let's say Aaron Hernandez who sprained his ankle just yesterday, you can play catch, so you want to throw yourself off. The other thing that you want to do is start to practice your balance with your eyes closed. All right? So our visual system plays a very large part in how we balance ourselves. So when we're rehabbing an ankle injury, we want to take that system out because it'll take over for what you're trying to rehabilitate. So I'll show you. I'll stand on my leg, pretty stable, not bad. And then I'll close my eyes and you can might be able to see that my foot really starts to wiggle and I'm starting to kind of lose my balance, okay? So if I come up on my toes and I can kind of balance there, if I put my other toe down, then I'll close my eyes forget I lose my balance within a couple seconds. So you should be able to stay stationary for a good 15 to 20 seconds, flat-footed with your eyes closed. So certainly work towards that. Make sure your balance is improving. If you're playing sports, once you injure your ankle, then you get back to being able to play that sport without pain in your ankle, do it on that leg. So if you're playing basketball, shoot foul shots on one leg. So you're really focusing on strengthening that balance, those receptors in your foot. And it really help to make sure that your ankle injury does not return. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please contact me, enm at orthocorept.com. Have a great day and keep those ankles safe. Thanks for watching.